I didn't think it could happen to me, but Parkinson's isn't supposed to happen to young people. I'd never even thought, thought about, about it. it. I was a busy mum doing the school run, helping the kids with their homework. Didn't have time to stop and consider, consider my, my health. health. There is no history of Parkinson's in the family, so it came as a total shock. I was diagnosed 15 years ago. Seven years ago now. Four years ago now, and I know that it only you gets get worse. worse. It starts with something small, almost unnoticeable. A slight tremor in your hand. Stiffness in the legs, heaviness in the arms. My left arm just went on strike. Wouldn't swing when I walked. But it's more than just physical symptoms. It's the things that other people can't see. The, the randomness, randomness, the, the unpredictability. unpredictability, the feeling that you're never in control. You take it for granted that your body will do what you want. But with Parkinson's, Parkinson's you're always, always on, on duty. duty, always on guard. That anxiety about constantly managing your symptoms takes away your ability to get on with life. When you're always planning ahead, life can't be spontaneous. Although there is currently no cure for Parkinson's, our sole mission is to find one. There are about 10 million people living with Parkinson's worldwide, and this figure is set to double by the year 2030. That's why we must act now. Dominic, Rachel, Alan and all of us living with Parkinson's not only have to cope with the symptoms we experience from day to day, but we also live in fear of the horrors that might lie ahead. But we at the Cure Parkinson's Trust have made and continue to make significant breakthroughs. And we are confident that one day very soon we will all be able to benefit from treatments which slow, stop or even reverse Parkinson's.